nigga my head been tripping for that past week. So take it easy on me. But I'm only say if you don't know, if you do know, what up though? I was around my crib. And I was like, man, we ain't got nothing healthy around here, man. Like we don't got no, no healthy food. So it just made me wonder, why ain't it healthy? I mean, I can read the the ingredients. I can read my nigga. Like I can follow along on the back. Like it's a Harry Potter book, but I need to see it. So we're finna find out what's so unhealthy about the hood classic, nigga. Noodles. Ramen noodles. All the cheap noodles that niggas get. You know you at the crib. Oh, I'm starving. Let me grab the noodles. You get the pack. Put it in the thing. Put the little sauce on it. I mean, the little, the little uh, seasoning, salt based style, chicken flavored. If you're using any other kind, you're only using beef. And if you're using other than beef and chicken, you're just weird. Beef and chicken only. But you know, you get the little sauce, salt bay. You feel me? Get that thing in there. Put it in the microwave for however long. Or if you're advanced and you're using the stove top, you feel me? with the pots in the water and you really getting it in, you heard, then you put it in the bowl, then you put the season in, in, then you hit that thing with the spin, then you put a little hot sauce in, you feel me? Or maybe you just like, play, whatever it be, y'all know how it go, man. It's a classic. It's iconic, man. It's hanging up in, in, the, in the wall of fame for niggas. It's, I seen a picture of it. And Jesse Jackson in, in old house, right next to Martin Luther King. I walked past the NAACP, and right beside uh, Tupac was a picture of Raymond Noodles. I seen it. The orange pack, chicken flavor. So we're gonna find out what's really going on. Why is it so unhealthy? But first, I gotta get my other my other device so I can watch the video. So, nigga, hold on. All right, now I gotta get my headset. Cause I don't need y'all hearing nothing. While I'm hearing something, because y'all can hear something while I'm hearing nothing. What does that mean? I don't even know. <laughs> hey, man, but let me tell you. Hold on, Boogie. What? Hey, homie. What? Here we go. An interesting, a, a very interesting, interesting video. A very interesting, interesting video. Hi. Okay. Hi. I'm Floyd Mayweather, and I'm... I'm so, scientists have warned that eating instant noodles can have devastating... And it stops at S. So let's click on that. While I'm watching this, I'm a little hungry, so hold on for a second. Uh, nigga. All right. Now let's watch this video. Let's get three, three, three. Three, two, one. First presents. Scientists have warned that eating instant noodles can have devastating effects on your body. Hmm, so do you think maybe eating instant noodles is bad for your noodle? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. First, as you're watching the video, drop down to the comments and tell us what your favorite I'm instant eating food right is. Now, nigga. Also, while you're here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future don't videos. Don't just subscribe, man. I feel you, but hey. People love instant noodles. One of the most significant selling points is that they are very inexpensive. College students who are yeah. living on tight budgets, they practically live off of instant noodles. They cheap, nigga. Another huge selling point is that they are quick and easy to make. Mm -hmm. You can have a nice meal ready to eat in three minutes. Best of all, you can add your own ingredients to make the noodles taste the way you want them to. Hot sauce. Instant noodles are popular all over the world. According to the World Instant Noodles Association, yes, there's actually a World Instant Noodles Association. Who knew? The world Over 100 billion portions wow. of instant noodles were served in 2018 alone. China sold the most, but the United States wasn't all that far behind. According to a research firm called Euromonitor, the United States sold over 4 billion packets of instant noodles. And that puts the U.S. in the top the block with consumers some of instant noodles. Make some bread. Now, if you love instant noodles, you might be a little upset to learn that... Hey, you my man. Got that, I got that chicken flavor. Yo, stop looking in my eye. Stop looking in my eye. They looking, they looking. Yo, what's up? We ain't got nothing going on over here. 
Come here. I got the chicken flavor. What you got? Five. Five dollars is all you got, my nigga? I got niggas ready to buy the buy the beef flavor noodles for that, my nigga. Man, you want this loud pack? You want this loud? This, this that gas? I need ten for this. I need ten for this chicken, man. I ain't going no lower, man. You ain't got no. You bad business. If you ain't got ten on you, you bad business. They're not good for you. In fact, scientists have warned that eating instant noodles can have devastating effects on your body. Eating them on a regular basis can be harmful to anybody, but there are certain people who are at a higher risk. There are plenty of foods available to us here in the first world. You can cook some at home, you can order food at a restaurant, and noodle dishes are very popular because they can be prepared in a variety of ways. They can also be paired with a variety of meats and vegetables. Of the types of cuisine available, they are the most popular in Chinese dishes. Noodles are a staple in Asia and a core part of their diet. People in China have been eating noodles for thousands of years. In 1950, a Japanese man named Momofuku Ando was working for a Nissan Food Company in Japan. That nigga name was what? And he came up with an ex. In 1950, a Japanese man named Momofuku Ando was working for a Nissan Food Company in Japan and a core part of their diet. Mom. I ain't even gonna say it. Diet. People in China have been eating noodles for thousands of years. In 1950, a Japanese man named Momofuku Ando was working for a Nissan food company in Japan, and he came up with an exciting Nissan idea. He was going to too? create instant noodles. The first noodles were sold under the name Chicken Ramen, and they hit stores in 1958. And the noodles had a lot going for them. I'm they done. were dry, which would help them last longer than other types of noodles when in storage. They were also quick to make. They could be boiled in water in just a few minutes. The first version of instant noodles was such a big hit, they became one of Asia's top-selling food items as well. By the beginning of the 1970s, Nissan Foods created Cup of Noodles, and it was their first ready meal of its kind. People fell in love with it, and their popularity spread all over the world. I'm guessing you probably had at least one serving of Cup of Noodles in your life. Why? Over the past few years, people with the scientific mm -hmm. community, they've decided that it was time to take a closer look at the nutritional content of these noodles to determine if they are or are not harming our bodies. They found that instant noodles are high in fat, high in salt, and high in calories. The fact that they are processed doesn't make them a healthy choice either. Some of the brands contain monosodium glutamate, or MSG. Anybody who pays attention to food additives and what they do, you know MSG can be harmful to your health. Even in small doses, it can cause concerning issues. MSG has flavor-enhancing properties, but it also has various forms of toxicity. It's been linked to metabolic disorders, obesity, Chinese restaurant syndrome, which means that you feel hungry almost immediately after you've already eaten, neurotoxic effects, Chinese. and it can even have effects on your reproductive organs. Restaurant syndrome. These which, niggas said Chinese restaurant syndrome. Nigga, what? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's them noodles, nigga. It must be Chinese restaurant syndrome. Which means that you feel hungry almost immediately after you've already eaten. Neurotoxic effects, and it can even have effects on your reproductive organs. Well, this caused people to wonder if MSG should be banned. Neurotoxic effects, and it can even have effects on your reproductive organs. Well, this caused people to wonder if MSG should be banned from all food products. Unfortunately, the FDA chose not to ban MSG since it is such an essential component in many foods. Dang, but it's still vital to bone. understand how harmful those components can be to your body. The noodles in. MSG is not the only potentially harmful ingredient in instant noodles either. They also contain a chemical preservative called tertiary butyl hydroquinone, or TBHQ. This preservative can add to the shelf life of these foods. It also is used in perfume, cosmetics, and even varnish. We eat cologne? In high doses or with frequent use, it can be a carcinogen, meaning cancer-causing. Nigga, oh so the next time my you're at the God. supermarket and you're being drawn in by the fact that instant noodles cost as low as 30 cents a package, you should think about what those noodles contain. 
The next time you start craving a cup of instant noodles, think about the cancer-causing agents that are included in some of those brands. These noodles might be quick and convenient and pretty delicious, come to think of it, but they can also do serious harm to your body. Since nobody knows exactly what a safe limit of MSG and TBHQ are, you're better off just avoiding the instant noodles altogether. That is, if you can keep yourself from partaking in their delicious goodness. Nigga, we eating cancer and Chinese restaurant syndrome? Nigga, what? I just ate a cigarette and a cologne bottle at the same time. I just ate an Axe-flavored Newport. What? Oh, man. They trying to... Hold on. I don't feel good. My temple hurting. Nigga. Uh, the reproductive... MSG, nigga, I thought that was Madison Square Garden, nigga. These niggas put MLB and MSG and all kind of M MS MA14 and putting it in noodles, my nigga. I'm eating Call of Duty guns in my noodles. Oh, man, I'm done, bro. Yeah, you know what? That was my last... My last uh, thing of noodles. Um, <clears throat> well, either two things are gonna happen. Actually, three things. Either we all did, we all got Chinese food, restaurant syndrome, or both, nigga. Oh my God, nigga. I just ate a cologne bottle, bro. Well, the bad news is, nigga, the noodles are terrible. The good news is, if you got a terrible health lifestyle anyways, nigga, you can use the noodles that you got in your crib as cologne or cigarettes. And it's a win-win situation, nigga. You get to get hungry and smoke and somehow put cologne. I don't know. Listen, I'm out, bro. I can't. I've, I've been. I feel bamboozled. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. If y'all excuse me, uh, I gotta go throw this up. <laughs> Nigga, I'm trying to survive. And I know people probably like, hey man, where did, where, where? The dreads. Where is the lock tutorial, man? You said in the last video, you said, you said in the last video, you was going to the locks, man. Where the locks, man? I see a whole lot of keys and no locks around right here, my nigga. What's, what's, what's up about the lock tutorial, man? You see me trying to get locked, nigga. It's only one time in my life where I want to be locked up. And it's right now in these. Where you at? Where is you at, nigga? Free. Free with your locks while I'm trying to be locked up. Hold on, man. Just relax. I got you. I have not forgot. I'm going to get that lock video out to you soon showing you how I did it. No professional help. Just my own methods. All right? But in the meantime, I just got to do a little video because, listen, my head been hurting. I got to stare at a light to do the lock tutorial. And I got to stare at the light. And then I got to, like, go, like, stand up. And I got to grab all this stuff. And, and it's not a lot. Not a lot, lot. But right now, the way my head feeling... It's like, Nick.